So I want to just kind of visualize this for the folks at home. So I actually have a screen here. Okay. So I want to just kind of go through your personal flow chart of education. So it's, you said that the education that you're providing, right? It will take guys typically one year to get fully educated and employed, correct? Yep. On the bell curve, the most common that I've seen is about eight to 12 months. Eight to 12 months training, right? And where is this training done? Uh, so the training is uh, is done from home online in uh, Zoom calls, similar to MLD's training, where they're all live webinars, where I'm teaching you the concepts. There's a training lab as well, where you can practice all this stuff, put into action. Okay. Yep. So eight to 12 months of training at home. And then first job, you have seen the lowest is $80,000 a year. Yep. Right? And that is year one okay and then you said year two was what was exactly a hundred thousand yeah so a year two you're in a hundred thousand and then year three yep year three i was able to get to 166 166 thousand and then now we are in year four and that is just right around two hundred thousand dollars a year yep what's it like making two hundred thousand dollars a year from the comfort of your home yeah i mean it's i can't complain <laughs> <laughs> all right folks sign up we'll see you next week <laughs> um this is the typical time they lie to you to go and get a college degree. And you have to take all these courses on why feminism is the best thing ever and why you're a piece of shit as a man. But does your course curriculum cover white guilt or anything along those lines? Or how's that work? Yeah, I can't say that's part of the curriculum, no. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about efficiency. So this is what I'm trying to tell guys too as well. Um, in just a mere eight to 12 months of training. How much, how many hours a week do you think these guys have to put in study wise? Yeah. I mean, everyone of course learns at a different pace. I would say if you could dedicate at least, let's say, I would say like, if you could dedicate like, you know, two hours a day, you could definitely make the, uh, the 12 month mark at least. Of course, if you can put in more time, you can get there even quicker. Two hours daily. Most of these guys watch two hours of Netflix daily two hours daily, two hours of video games daily. So yeah, yeah, two hours daily to do this is not bad. And you said also, right, that there's even higher salary ceilings as well, correct? Oh yeah, absolutely. So if you get into like the upper level management and stuff, some of those guys are making closer to 300. Wow. That's insane, dude. Yeah. It's insane. And so let me just tell you guys this. So let's just say we're going to use this. We're going to use a very conservative approach. Okay. So we're going to talk about this real quick. Okay. Let's just say you get two years and for some reason you max out at a hundred thousand dollars a year. Ryan, how many hours a week do you think you're working right now with your current job? Definitely not 40. I'll say that. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. If you ballpark me, how many how many hours do you think you're waking, making? Oh man, yeah, I guess it does vary depending on like what I have going on, but maybe on average, probably closer to like twenty. Twenty. Twenty hours a week, yeah. Yeah. So I know a lot of people are doing this too. So let's say you get a job and your pays you hundred thousand dollars a year, right? What a lot of people do when these industries is they just get a second job and they keep these companies in the dark about it. And it's not illegal. And they'll take two jobs making $100,000 a year. And then they literally live off of one income. And then the second income is directly for savings, 
crypto, real estate, and more, right? And that's assuming you you cashed out at a hundred. Could this here be two hundred thousand dollars a year? Yeah, each, absolutely. Yeah. Each job could technically be two hundred dollars, two hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, and and what what I will also mention is the nice thing about the offensive side is because you are looking for these vulnerabilities proactively. It's a lot. It gives you more freedom. Some of the jobs on the defensive side are you know they they involve on call, so it would be harder to double dip in that scenario. Uh, because especially when like new vulnerabilities come out or if the company gets hacked and you're like an incident responder, then it's like all hands on deck, uh, like weird hours or whatever. But the nice thing about what I do on the offensive side is since I'm finding these proactively, I'm never on call or anything like that. So it's it's very good from the freedom perspective. Even if you want to start up your business on the side, it's very friendly to do that as well. Wow. And just the amount of things, because there's some other people I know. There's, there's a guy I know in the cybersecurity industry who's making uh, over 200 and he says he's working about six to 10 hours a week. <laughs> well, you know, off the record, maybe that happened a few times. <laughs> <laughs> he's a smart guy. He's super, super uh, great with his money, has a gigantic house. He's like playing the game perfectly.